13 minutes before 7 o'clock, it is time to check in with business. Haley Wooden from Business in Vancouver is here now. Good morning, Haley. Good morning, Randine. So I guess the big news is Apple's new iPhone 7. How are the markets reacting to the new phone? Very interestingly, so for those who did miss it, some of the features unveiled by Apple yesterday include waterproofing, a higher resolution camera, stereo speakers, and of course the disappearance of the headphone jack. And a lot of analysts and consumers this seem to be fairly seven. underwhelmed. Apple shares were trading up since the announcement yesterday, but not really by a significant margin. They closed less than 1% higher. Now, interestingly, shares of Nintendo were trading up by 27% at one point yesterday. And I'll tell you why. Apple CEO Tim Cook announced that the very popular Super Mario Brothers games would finally be available on an iPhone device, and that's starting with the iPhone 7. Now, the good news is still resonating for Nintendo. Shares in the company were trading up 13% this morning in the Japanese markets. Another game app that's going to be super popular. All right, let's talk about now what Airbnb is doing specifically in Vancouver. I think they think they have a bit of a bad rap here because it's impossible to find a rental unit in Vancouver. I think they do feel that way and for good reason. There has been a lot of talk that the availability of short-term rentals such as Airbnb are really compounding on the lack of affordability issues we're facing here in Vancouver. So to that end, the popular home sharing site has launched an ad campaign that really showcases its hosts as everyday people simply looking to supplement their income with short-term rentals. Now in the TV ads, we see that of 250 homeowners surveyed in Vancouver or hosts on the site, 60% use the income generated by their short-term rentals to either cover their mortgage or to help them cover rent. Now, this is a very timely campaign. Vancouver City Council is currently preparing a report that would look at the impacts short-term rentals such as Airbnb have on the city's affordability issues. So we can expect to learn a little bit more about what the city thinks of all this come September or October, the fall of this year. All right, Haley, thank you so much. Interesting. Haley Wooden from Business in Vancouver this morning.